So Kelvin Hunter, AKA the king behind the purple chair, is doing an exclusive new interview revealing everything that was going on behind the scenes when it comes to the Wendy Williams show, what's going on with Wells Fargo, and the lady in his life, Sharina Hudson. We're going to talk all about it, so grab a snack, grab your blanket, because it's story time with the Kempire. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So for those of you that just want to have some story time with me, or you're, you're just back from the office, or you just want to lay back and listen to some Kempire read to you, let me put a blank, let me put my um, glasses on. I got a little bit of a blanket here. Look, grab your blanket. <laughs> Look. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. I get hot in the studio, but I'm going to leave my blanket here though, but cozy on up. I even changed the lighting in here to make it a little bit more cozy for us. Because some of you watch me on your, your, te your television. Hey. So... Our friends over at the West, the West Side Gazette did an interview. We'll link them, as always, what we do here, cite our sources. And they titled this interview, Hunted. If you remember, his name is Kelvin Hunter. Hunted, the king behind the purple chair of, po of power. All right. So in this interview, not only do they speak to Kelvin Hunter, a.k.a. Kevin Hunter, the former husband and manager of Wendy Williams, they also speak to their longtime personal executive assistant, Pamela Smith. And if you've been a longtime Wendy watcher, you're probably familiar with that name. I even remember when Pam was leaving the Wendy Williams show. I believe it's on like an after show. Sidebar, we haven't talked about how the Wendy Williams YouTube channel is actually back up for those that didn't know. It's just under Dubmar Mercury on YouTube. So the video footage is now av available. So you can watch it there. So in this conversation with Kelvin Hunter, they talk a lot. They even talk about Charlemagne the God. And he says, Charlemagne is not who you think he is. I don't know who to trust in that situation because... There's Charlemagne, and then there's you, Kelvin. But we'll get to that. As I said to you before, just because I think it's necessary to read exactly what Kelvin is saying in this interview, buckle on up. I'm going to read a little bit of what he's saying in this conversation, a little bit of it. So the interviewer go has this conversation with Kelvin, and Kelvin says this in regards to the vision of Hot Topics. As you know, he claims in lawsuits and now in this interview that he was the visionary behind all of your favorite moments from the Wendy Williams show, okay? So he says this, we had a vision and I didn't want anyone at the show messing up the vision. They couldn't hang money over our heads and tell us to do just something because we showed up with money. You remember, she was already doing quite well on radio, Wendy. He says, we were already iced out, already driving the Lamborghini and Ferrari or what have you. So this money didn't make us. We made us. So early in our, during our production, Dunmar Murphy had no idea about the culture Wendy embodied. That culture that they used to frown on and say people didn't want to hear about hip hop and all that. He says, however, after a while, Hot Topics, which I created, became nothing but about hip hop artists. Sidebar, you didn't create Hot Topics. Maybe you created for that show, but even Wendy admitted on her show that they stole that idea from The View. Let's be honest. Yes, she did it a lot better than, than anyone else, but that was not your original idea. Okay, there's nothing really original under the sun at this point. So he continues and says, I told them quick that they were overkilling it and that Hot Topics had to be more defined, and we did that. He says, to Wendy's credit, she was talented and and had the longest monologue on TV, including daytime and nighttime. Wendy's monologue lasted between 18 to 24 minutes. That was almost the entire show. That's a long time to be just sitting on a chair talking. Yo, remember when Wendy used to mimic him? Yo, see, he literally says yo. He says, yo, the purple chair was her idea. Dope idea. And she held the audience for sure. When I look back at what, she, what we did for an entire decade, it makes me upset. I had to do it for a minute. Okay, all right. 
So the interviewer says, upset, you both became multimillionaires and moved TV culture. Apparently not enough multimillions for him because he's claiming that he's facing foreclosure because of this severance and alimony stopping, stop being paid to him. He talks about that, too. We'll get to that in a second. He continues in this conversation in response to uh, Casey. Casey says, upset, you both became multimillionaires and moved TV culture. There are now a thousand YouTubers giving the world daily tea that are makeshift offspring of the Wendy Williams show. Do you mean that rather you feel un under unappreciated? He says, it's clear to say that after I left, the show tumbled hard. My intellectual prop. He's using these words for a reason, y'all. My intellectual property of the creation of the Wendy Williams show and how it had come across was key. They would not have experienced the, su the success that they had without me. Wendy brought in 1.3 to 1.8 million viewers daily. Once I was gone, the people around her had her looking crazy sitting on that screen. He continues, he says, they certainly didn't care that she kept getting the help that she needed away from TV, but I cared. I always cared. My heart was always in the right place about her. Yes, we had our problems, but it was, it was so personal of what I and she built. That's why all of the hot topics suddenly was about me. They tried to they tried their best to make her feel like you can be tough and have power over him to be really mean, but she could not front and it was killing her inside. So if you remember those after she divorced Kelvin and some of the things that she would say on the show, this is what he's he's saying that the people around her were the ones motivating her to do this on television. When I was around, Wendy's day ended when she left the building, but mine didn't. There was always something that needed to be done or a call that needed to be took. I was the common denominator in every department, including decor, wardrobe, and guests. You know, yo, here you go. You know, yo, my, anytime he says, yo, I'm going to put on his voice. You know, yo, my thing is this with all the things she accomplished and as influential as she was, they chose to make everything about the scandal, the lifetime movie and the documentary. It was all about the scandal and that's pathetic. Oh, I need a sip after that. Okay. So Kelvin continues and talks more about what happened once they decided to part ways, the divorce, and when he decided to, well, when he was pushed out or severed ties with the Wendy Williams show. He says, Wendy was coming out of rehab. You, you may recall she talked about that openly on her show. She was living at that facility. We were going through a divorce and the news of my baby came out. I wasn't going to miss the birth of my daughter, and people saw me at the hospital. Truth be told, we should have gotten a divorce 10 years earlier. Even our son, Kevin, told said that to us. But anyway, uh, when the news was out, I told her I would step down from the show, and Wendy told me I need, I need to stay because I was having a kid. I stayed only to later be, li only later to be lined up. I got fired from management, served divorce papers, and also fired from the show at all in the same day. I don't know if I believe that part. I don't know if I believe that Wendy asked him to stay. I really don't know if I believe that. But that's my own, my own opinion. This is what he's saying. The interviewer says, you, you know, you had to know that, so, that a celebrity divorce, a baby and a mistress would bring heat in many ways. So Kevin responds and says this. I get that the fans feel like I was sneaking around and that I hurt Wendy. Pay attention to this. But in reality, Wendy had caught me years before with Sharina. And I came clean then and I asked her if she wanted to end the marriage. And she didn't, so we stayed together. I have often wondered, would it have been better to just end it then? I was too afraid of what would happen to Wendy if I wasn't there. Now that it's ended in divorce, I can say that I am healthier, happier, and I'm no longer dependent on marijuana. I'm no longer hiding my relationship, and I have a beautiful daughter named Journey. It's three years later, so I am not one to make excuses. But until a person has lived in a relationship with someone with multiple addictions, it's easy to say that out to say that from the outside what a person should have done, but until you live live it, nobody knows. In the beginning, I had a wife who was a well-known radio personality, and when I had the idea of taking her to television, neither of us were prepared for the level of success. 
I can honestly say that I was confident that the show sh would be a, a success, but I had no idea what worldwide stardom would do. He says the amount of scrutiny and pressure that would come and the everyday stress and demands getting Wendy ready to do the show became a struggle. He says, I saw this every day and I was unable to help my wife's kick these habits. Everyone else got to go home after the show. I had to prepare for tomorrow's show, then go home and try to keep my wife from ending up in a position where she couldn't work the next day. Looking back, I now realize I was living life like the countless spouses of mates with addictions. That's a life that only another person in that position would understand. Because of addiction and stress, I slowly transitioned from a loving husband who managed his wife's career to the executive producer, protector, and manager of the Wendy Williams brand. I didn't have anywhere or anyone I could go to when I, just, when I needed to just relax. Is he justifying his relationship with Sharina here? Anyways, he says, the reason I gave credit to my lady, Sharina, here we go, in my recent post is because in the moment I was speaking, I reflected on the heavy load I was carrying every day, trying to just keep Wendy alive and functioning. And in the moment, I saw that there is no way that I or Wendy would have made it if I didn't have her to turn to. Where do, I, where do you go when you are helpless and you can't stop the person you love from hurting themselves and when watching them hurt, hurts you too? So the interviewer asked this, is there anything you can share publicly about the business part of your divorce and the disagreement thereof? Kevin says this in regards to what's going on when it comes to the, the divorce and the agreed, agreed situation and the Wells Fargo part of the situation. So he says, as the husband for 20 plus years and the creator of the Wendy Williams show, I was entitled to my half of everything that we had, just like any other couple divorcing. I went to the table in good faith and we reached what I thought was an amicable divorce. In fact, it was one of the fastest celebrity divorces ever. It really was a fast divorce. We were all like, we turned once and they were done and they reached some sort of settlement. It was very clean. Okay. He says, I had a feeling that Wendy's Wells Fargo advisor was up to no good. Lori Schiller. But I was advised by my attorneys that everything was okay. Well, in February of this year, Wells Fargo decided to stop paying me what was agreed. I'm like, how, you, how could you, the bank, stop paying me all of a sudden? Wendy was in rehab and these people just stopped depositing my money cold turkey. Now I'm demanding to see all of the bank records from the time of the divorce until now. And that will show what is really going on. My financial expert wit witnesses say they have never seen a financial institution Fight this hard to keep from disclosing the records. These people have tried to starve me out. They have offered me a settlement at pennies on the dollar. I'm not going to let them get away with taking my money or Kevin Jr.'s. At the end of the day, I earned the money and I'm not letting them take it from either one of us. They are going to have to show me the bank statements. Can you believe a bank, a bank as big as Wells Fargo would have the audacity to do this? And this is why a lot of you still are struggling with the whole situation with Wells Fargo, because you're like, well, that's kind of true. If he if they reached a contractual agreement and this is all in writing, Wendy agreed to this of sound mind at the time, why would they stop paying it? But on the other side of things, I'm just sort of like, wait, you're in foreclosure. But some of you speculated that maybe he purposely is not paying these things to make a case. Maybe. Then a conversation about Charlemagne comes up. And I was just sort of like, why are we talking about Charlemagne? Casey says Charlemagne the God, Leonard McKelvey, that's his real name, from the usually popular talk, sh talk radio morning show, The Breakfast Club, said that he introduced you to your current lady, Sharina Hudson. Is that true? Kelvin says, yes, it's true. We dug each other and ended up kicking it. She was there for me when I really need someone to talk to and it blossomed, blossomed from there. So Charlemagne or Lenar McKelvey is a long story with plenty of truths that haven't come to light. I gave him his start by bringing him up from South Carolina, as you already know, radio station, and put him on the Wendy, Wendy's radio show, all right, which was the number one show in America's largest market. She didn't like the idea initially, but as her numbers grew, his name grew a lot as well. Mind you, I let him live in my condo for free for like six or seven years, just helping him as much as I could like a little brother. 
It wasn't our family home or nothing like that, so it was cool. In reality, Wendy told me early on that Charlemagne was not who I thought he was. And he then he goes he goes left with this one. He says she turned out to be right. I'll go deeper in, into into his many stories in my book. For instance, I didn't know about the whole underage girl situation he got himself into that he admitted to on the Breakfast Club. I didn't know about that until our friendship was over, but I'm not even talking about that. You mentioned something earlier about destiny hunting, and yes, it hunts everyone. Just know that Charlemagne is not who you guys think he is. Yo, everybody got secrets. That's what he said, y'all. That's what he said in the interview. So as you guys know, I reported on a story about Kevin Hunter Jr. and him being evicted from a $2 million rental. It's a rental. He doesn't own it. And he was asked to pay $70,000 in back rent, right? Apparently, Wendy got him this apartment. She paid the deposit and she paid for a year of rent, over $100,000. So Kevin talks about his son in this interview and how his son was really uh, trying to help take care of his mother. So the interviewer says this. Only a couple of days ago, it was reported that your former wife was released from a wellness facility, this facility in which Miss Williams has been since August of this year. Do you have any comments on that? So Calvin says this. I will say for now that it breaks my heart to see what's happening to her. I know she is not in a good place and she is surrounded by people who are taking advantage of her condition, including this so-called guardianship. When our son stepped up as a young man to take on the responsibility of his mother's care, I was so proud of him. That didn't last long once the people controlling her did everything that they could to get her away from him. I knew it would be a bad thing. These people tried to say our son was taking advantage of his mother. That is a lie. I already know what you guys are thinking. You're you're thinking, well, I can't trust you either. It seems like all these people that are around Wendy, she can't trust anyone. And part of me thinks like, damn, Wendy, did you sort of set yourself up in this situation by not letting more people into your life that you could trust and you only had Kelvin as your as your one person? I do believe that there will be some clarity in, in regards to what is happening around Wendy. I am still looking at Wells Fargo with the side eye, side eye on how they're handling uh, Wendy's financial situation. Because look, no matter how you feel about Kelvin, if they had a, an agreement on how much you should be paid for leaving the show and divorcing Wendy, because because if the tables were turned, we would feel like no, you need to pay that you need to pay that woman. So if they had an agreement, and just because there's a guardianship in place, there's still things that need to be paid that Wendy agreed when she was of sound in mind, according to them, that need to be paid. So I, I, that's where I'm like, no matter how you feel about Kelvin, you know the narrative about Kelvin and him cheating and, and whatnot. But when we talk about what a, a contract says, he's going to have to fight it. As I said to you before, when we, we talked about this, in the contract that he signed, that they all signed, it said that if she wasn't working in television, if she wasn't making the same amount of money, the money could be terminated or modified. Or modified. So it seems as if Wells Fargo was trying to give him a modified amount and he's not happy with that amount. Guys, as always, I hope you had a good snack and cuddled up with me to talk about this story. I had to go through all the things that he said. Let's continue this conversation in the comment section. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.